You can get a pegboard like this at your local hardware store and just have them cut it or if you have a handyman around the house that you can use, um, he can cut it for you depending on how big your frame is. So this is just a sample size. I'm going to show you how I did the striping um, and then we'll work with a bigger sheet when we move on. But we did prime this first. That's very important. When you're using craft paint, you just want to make sure that you have really good adhesion um, and you probably want it to dry overnight before you start your next step. So we're going to be showing you how to do your board next. I've got my pegboard prepared with primer and I'm going to just use some green painters tape to stripe it off. This can be also purchased at any local hardware store. And I'm just going to run the stripe side to side. It's harder for me to do striping up and down. So just lightly press and make sure that you have a a good um, seal between the board and the tape. It doesn't have to be super straight because as you've seen in our um, finished project, it really is important how straight your stripes are. It's kind of actually nice when they're a little bit um, irregular. So, And I'm just going to run some different widths. So this would be a really skinny stripe. And keep in mind that it's just as uh, the paint will be hitting what's exposed so so I've got some of my board striped off and I've just picked some colors that um, I would like to see you can do colors that match a room or um, if you have a favorite scrapbooking paper that you just love the look of um, you can certainly go that route that's how we got the idea a little bit on this one. Okay, so I'm just going to put my brush in. And like I said, um, it's a little bit messy, so you want to make sure that whatever surface you're working on is covered with something. Um, again, it's craft paint, so it does wash off pretty well. But um, obviously, you don't want to do anything that you um, could soak paint in. So. So I'm just going to start brushing my color on. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect actually. It's kind of nice if it's a little irregular and some of the white shows through. If you want a um, watercolor look, you can use a gel blending medium that they sell at many craft stores. Make your paint flow a little bit better and be a little softer. I'm going to peel back my paint and maybe you can get a better idea of how it's going to turn out. So I have varying widths and when I come back, when this dries a little bit, I can come back and I can run tape along this edge and um, make different stripes or um, if you like, you can always just go right in there at this point and paint some very irregular width stripes and just fill in. And the colors, because they're still kind of wet, they'll blend right together. I would also uh, recommend the use of a smock or an old shirt, <laughs> just because it goes a little bit faster when you can be a little more careless. So I'm just making sure my colors are butting up to each other. I'm gonna go back in and add some orange here. Like I said, it's nice that the white shows through. It gives it a little bit of a distressed look.
And again, as in every project that we do here, this project is your own. There are no rights or wrongs and you can make it whatever you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue to fill in everything and tape off a few more stripes. So I'm just making sure my colors are butting up to each other. Like I said, it's nice that the white shows through. It gives it a little bit of a distressed look. And again, as in every project that we do here, this project is your own. There are no rights or wrongs and you can make it whatever you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue to fill in everything and tape off a few more stripes. And then after that step, I will show you how to apply the distressing whitewash. Once you've gotten your colors down, the next step will be to apply the whitewash, but we need to let this dry a little while. So while that's drying, you can start to assemble your flowers and put them on the dowels. 